Scrambled paragraphs are often thought to be the hardest part of the verbal exam, if not the hardest part of the entire SHSAT and TJHSST exams. Why is that? Of course, you'll hear students say, well, I struggle with the material, or that sentence Q, it could have been the third sentence. They put it as the fourth, but I'm not sure why it can't just as easily be the third sentence. All these are valid reasons, but there's something more, and it has to do with the mathematics of scrambled paragraphs. So let's take a second and look at the math of scrambled paragraphs because the math underlying it is essentially SHSAT level math. Unless you've seen our cards with the questions on the back regarding the mathematics scramble paragraphs and visited our website to see the answers, you may not have seen this. So let's take a quick look. What is the probability of getting a math problem correct on the SHSAT exam without any special or prior knowledge of the math problem? Well, real quick, if we remember from our math, the probability of any event is the number of ways of getting the math problem correct divided by the number of possible answers for a math problem. Real quick, there's only one way to get the correct answer. Each correct answer is unique. And if you're familiar at all with the SHSAT math problems, there are five multiple choice answers. A, B, C, D, E, which means in total there are five possible answer choices, which means the probability of getting the math problem correct is the number of ways getting correct, one, divided by the number of possible answer choices, five, it is just one-fifth. Now that part was easy enough. But what is the probability of getting a scrambled paragraph problem correct on the SAT exam? Assuming, of course, no special knowledge of the particular problem. Ask your coach, they might even be stumbled by this problem. It's something you probably should know because you are going to be taking the exam and you will be graded on it. So it would be nice to know what are your odds and chances. Again, the probability of, let's just call it event A in this case, is going to be the number of ways to get event A to occur divided by the number of ways possible in total. Looking back, again, there's still only one unique answer. So the numerator is still going to be one. There's only one correct answer to a scramble paragraph problem and you have to get them all in order. However, how many possible answer choices are there? Well, let's think about it. We have five sentences to order. There is no partial credit for getting any one sentence in place. So you have to have all five sentences in order to get the question correct. This is a counting problem, which we've seen before on the math side of our SHSAT exam. How many ways can I select my first sentence to follow the main sentence? There are five ways. I can choose Q, R, S, T, U. Once I've selected that, how many ways are left to choose my second sentence? Well, I can't choose the same sentence again, so there has to be one less, so there are four sentences left to choose from. For the third sentence, there'll be three possibilities left, or three sentences to choose from. And for the fourth, there'll only be two sentences left to choose from. And finally, once I've selected the first four sentences in place, my last sentence is determined to be the last sentence, so there's only one choice. This is, if we recall, five factorial ways to arrange the sentences of a scrambled paragraph, which is simply five times four is 20, times three is 60, times two is 120. So there are 120 possible ways in total, or possible answer choices to think of it more accurately, for guessing a scrambled paragraph problem, which means our denominator now becomes 120 in the probability. So your odds or probability of getting the correct answer, not knowing anything special about the problem, is 1 in 120 on 
a scrambled paragraph. Or if you want to think about it, it is 24 times worse than a math problem. Wow! No wonder people think scrambled paragraphs are hard. Because mathematically speaking, they are hard to get correct. Your odds are not very good. Focus on getting that first follow-on sentence correct. If any of you have had coaching for the SHSET scramble paragraphs already, you've probably heard, focus on getting that first follow-on sentence correct. It's very important. Is that good advice or bad? Let's take this analysis one step further and try to decide. Recall, my first choice is five different options for sentences, then four, then three, then two, and then one, which is the 120 possible choices for a scramble paragraph problem. So in theory, if I can make that number one with certainty, if I know that to be correct, then I can effectively eliminate my five. I then have the challenge of putting four sentences together, and my odds then become four choices for my first sentence, essentially my first sentence, which is really the second, three choices for the next, two choices, and then finally one choice for my fourth sentence. Four times three is 12, times two is 24. So essentially, if I focus on getting that first follow-on sentence correct and can do it well, I can reduce my number of answer choices from 120 down to 24. And that's a reduction of 96 answer choices. Essentially, I will have improved my odds five times, and my odds will move from 1 in 120 to 1 in 24, all by really working hard and knowing how to place that first follow-on sentence correct. So, was that good advice or bad? I think there's no question it was good, in fact, it's probably the best advice. At least mathematically speaking, focus on getting that first follow-on sentence correct. It will improve your odds and most likely your results dramatically. I bet you've never really looked at scrambled paragraphs in quite this way before. And I hope it was insightful. And I hope you realize this is essentially what we do at testprepshsat.com. We look and analyze problems in a slightly, hopefully more insightful way and give you a new way of looking at problems. And ultimately, that should lead to better scores. At least we'd like to believe so. Good luck.